Hi there, it's Jason here from One Hour Forex, and today is uh, January 23rd, 2012. And uh, we're going to look at the setups here now. So basically, <clears throat> here was our first opportunity of the trading uh, window. And as you can see, there was no trade here. Because, yes, it bounced off this is support. Okay, to a T, as you can see right here. But because the entry was very close to S1 and 129 price. Okay, oh look, there she goes. Looks like we're going to hit 3050. Um, anyway, there was no opportunity there. But then the next hour, which was 3 a.m., it came down, bounced off of this support. Okay. As you can see, there was some, some support there, okay, came back up. Once it turned blue, okay, right in here, you may have wanted to wait for it to clear this by a pip or so, even here, you know, because you had some strong resistance in here. So even if you got in here, there was 26 pips to the pivot level, okay. Second trade, uh... Uh, the third trade of the UK session, there was no trade here that I can see. Unless there was a sell. Let's go see if there was a sell. There could have been a sell. Let's take a look. Okay, so it opened up here. Yeah, it went up here. Yes. Um, so let's see, where would have it have been a sell? It would have been a sell. Let's move this line up right there. Okay, one pep below. Come back, come back. Okay, so open up here. By the time it would have gave you the sell, there was no trade there because it was in the last 45 minutes, the last 15 minutes of the hour. Remember, we only look for opportunities in the first 45 minutes. And the first 15 minutes is ideal and the first half hour is still good when you're getting into you know past the 30 minute mark it gets a little bit more risky as um, I'm sure a lot of you have known uh, to, to see that's part of the rules of this system so there was no trade on that particular um, at the four o'clock hour okay so we have our three candles here. Now this is the eight o'clock bar right here. There was no trade here, okay? Um, but however, there was a trade on the nine o'clock one. And that was because we were in a strong uptrend, okay? So basically, if you would have drawn this one to this one, okay, never mind that one yet. But just like that, you can see that if you projected this out into the future, okay, came down and, a, and to the T, to a T, not to the T. Holy jeez, I can't talk today. I don't know why. To a T, ladies and gentlemen. It came down, it, it opened up, it came down, it bounced off of the trend line, okay? So you would have got long right here, let's see. Yeah, and you had exactly 11.7 pips to R3. So yes, there was a winning trade there of 11 pips, okay? There's a winning trade there, and there was a winning trade here. So we had two trades today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and that was basically it. If you got into this third one right here, um, I guess you would have got in just above our three but still it's just it's kind of dangerous after the huge move up but you know trying to trade above our three even though it did go and it was 14 pips to 130.50 okay but now as you can see it's not making it to 30.50 it's coming back down so anyway for sure we had two trades today it was this one here at nine o'clock in the morning and at three o'clock in the morning uh, right here. Okay. And that's it for the setups for today. Have a great, great day.